All right, everybody. Um, we are going to do. We're doing Inktober, right? And we're doing Friday Night Lives, and we're launching our inking online. So we're also going to go through and we're going to pick our five top inkers, Doug and I, and the th top three things we like about those inkers and how they've influenced us. Uh, so it's going to be kind of quick, but we just want to go through this to kind of show you if you don't know these inkers, someone you might want to go look at, the great master inker himself, uh, the grand master of fantasy art, Frank Frazetta, one of my top, easily top five, top three, maybe top one. I don't know. He's right up there. So... Um, Doug, you want to go first? What are the three things you love about... Uh... So I'm a big fan of Frazetta's uh, ever since I was a kid. And one of the things that always kind of stood out, and I didn't understand it until later, kind of training in ink with Jeff and whatnot, was just how much you could kind of stand away. Like you, you could stand a across the room and you know it's a Frazetta because of the design. And where I think he was a master of is in this two value structure where he really designs all this two value system very well, but then he just uses a little bit to hint at that rolling of the form and that's all he needs. He really took uh, what, the, what a lot of the old comic book artists did great and he kind of pushed it even a little bit more and really had this nice sensitivity to his forms. I mean, obviously he knows his anatomy really well, but that's kind of one of his one of his main strengths, at least for me. And then again, I guess the second strength would be his an anatomical knowledge and how he subtly rolls that form. I mean, he he knows how to indicate like that that little bit of that scapula and rolling in of uh, some of that turning of the form right in there, and it's just so subtle and nice, but juxtaposed with that nice sharp dark right in there, and it, like in here again. Um, maybe a third would be just, just, which would also combine with that second, but that rolling of that form, that rolling in that forearm, the way he, he, you know, you really feel like you, it's sculptural. You can really feel like you could grab it. So cool. Yeah. I, I mean, I agree with obviously everything's Doug said. Um, I was introduced to Frazetta when I was a kid. My dad used to, uh, collect his book covers and then tear off the cover and throw the book away. Cause they thought the book was kind of trash. But he would love uh, Frazetta's work, and that was before Frazetta had any big table coffee books or had gone through the posters. And I remember uh, just how much in, uh, my dad loved his work, and so I'd be drawing those when I was like five or something, which is you know a lot of people would say that's that, you know what was where was your mom, you know what was she, you know I was all naked, scantily clad, crazy, violent stuff, you know. But um, I love Frazetta for his dynamics, his drama, his 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 sensational aspect of pushing a pose to the furthest best possible angle that you could get out of it without it getting cheesy. And you see guys that have come there more contemporary that just do not have the subtlety that he has in his uh, taste of staging, his taste of design, his taste of everything from tech armor design to just basic fundamental um, design of the actual anatomy itself and the dynamics. This is a great book, by the way, if you want to get one, a definitive one. Uh, this uh, large, it's kind of expensive, sometimes hard to find. That's a great one. If you want a cheaper version, this little guy here has, um, it's all his inks and it's maybe 15 bucks um, and it's plenty. It's not quite as nice repros as this one. This is probably the best I've seen, but this little guy here is, uh, is quite nice. So the things I love about Frazetta, the drama, the dynamics, his use of stains along with his inks, uh, more like a watercolorist, a little bit more like a painter because he's a phenomenal painter as well. He's one of those few inkers that can uh, is virtuoso at ink and virtuoso in paint very few do that go between those two paradigms with the kind of um strength that he does and i just think that like every is their iconic images their iconic um staging like this particular cover piece with this tarzan or this jaguar god you know kind of springing out of here and you've got all these this malay of activity down here and just how complicated and cool he's knitted together um the indications of all these guys down here and his choices for where to lose things, where to indicate things, where to play things down, where to play things up, I think is one of the best ever. So always going to be um, dear to my heart. I would say for Zeta's probably, like I said, top three easily for me in, uh, in how he executes, but also the power of his, uh, of his choices and his execution. Combination of quill and brush involved in most of his. He's good with both. He's also great with uh, little ballpoint pen sketches. I mean, I've seen him do pretty much everything with ink. And um, so he's one of our, our top guys that we picked for this. So if you don't know him, go study him, go look him up, 
I'm sure you probably already do know him, but if not, it's a travesty if you don't look him I mean, up. Just looking at like this, this hand and arm right here, here, and here. You could just do studies off those and how masterful they are. Yeah. They're amazing. Just that, that form rolling and just the strength and just that hand. And it's fun too. Like, I mean, down the road, you could even take something like this and convert it to gouache or do a gouache study of it or whatever, where you're, he's so, you know, again, like this, this torso here is, it's so almost like Bernie Wrightson, you know, I mean, like some of the indications in it. And it looks like to me, that's probably more quill up in here. And then he's gone down into brush. And these guys where he's working a little bit more subtly and a little bit more washed out with his ink um, to get them to lay down a little bit more and to get this guy to pop more. So you can see with the values, darker, 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 lighter, 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 simpler as it goes down, it melts away. And you, your center of interest is just so quintessentially this big triangular cross section right here that goes right down the middle. And it's just it's just so such a beautiful design piece. And, and all of his are like that. So good book, good guy. Thanks for joining us. Check him out. Frazetta, one of our favorite inkers. See you see for our next, uh, you know, top five inker, you know, rundown. Cheers.